Good evening, YouTube. It's the man on Red George Page coming to you live, live on YouTube. Uh, it's that old saying: if it doesn't rain, it pours, and it's just. Uh, but you know what? We got to remember we're still going through a pandemic. The virus is going going around, and people should be very careful. Well, anyway, um, I got some bad news to tell you, folks. Uh, you know the fight between uh, Juliana the. The, the the Venezuelan vixen and the uh, uh, Pena versus uh, Amanda Nunes, the, the lioness, has been canceled. And, you know, as you know, this fight was going to be part of the co main event of Lewis versus uh, Jean, or whatever, Jane, whatever it is. It's, and they're fighting for interim titles, you know. Uh, you know, there's a hold up because Dana White. You know, uh, he is, you know, it's just some crap that's, they're doing it. Uh, interim title for the heavyweight, di for the heavyweight division. What the, it's just too many of those interim titles now. You know, the, you know, it's just crazy. But anyway, the news has been dropped that, um, and uh, this is from um, Nina Anzaroff, or some people might call her Nina Nunez, um, that she dropped on social media that her and Amanda and their, and their young daughter uh, have been tested positive for the virus. And this is just bad, you know, the, and this is, uh, you know, and the virus is, you know, has, has stopped a lot of fights and put a lot of people out of, out of uh, the game for a while. And well, you know, they're both healthy, um, athletes and, you know, and this is a young baby. So they probably recover. It takes some time, but depending on the severity of the virus and how severe it is, it'll take some time. So right now uh, the fight between Juliana Pena and Amanda Nunes is off. Well, some say that, the, you know, it's just. But you know, you have to be ready for this fight, and the fight was supposed to happen next week. You know, and she's been talking up a storm. You know, I know her last fight she lost to GDR by a, a, a submission. But you know, she's been talking up this fight for the, ever since the, the the first of this year, by the end of last year. And you know, Julia Pena is just an interesting character. I don't talk much about her. I'm not a big Julia Pena fan. I don't know my man, the coach is. But like I said, she's been in the game quite some time. You know, she was was a part of uh, uh, Tough many years ago. And, you know, she won that season of Tough, you know, for the women's battle division. And what's next for her? Well, as you know, there's another person who had an opponent, who opponent had to drop out. And that is um, Aspen Ladd. Well, you know, Aspen's not doing anything. You know, she's she should be ready. You know, her fight with Major Jason was last week. And if she has a time, you know, she can probably make the weight. They can fight next week. Is it possible? I mean, you, you got a week. Aspen, you know, you got a time to get ready, Aspen. To, if you put on maybe three or four more pounds, you got enough time to, to shed it off. You know, I know how some of y'all try to make cut weight just close enough. Next time, don't you just try to do it steadily. Just be ready. And this fight was supposed to happen um, early this year. It was supposed to happen, but I think it was issues. You remember Aspen has some... Um, I think she had a, a knee into ACL, something like that, and this fight was canceled. It was supposed to happen a while back, so why not make it happen now? I mean, you know, and you know, Mace Chase on take your big ass up to uh, one forty-five. That's where you belong. I mean, that's I think the reason why these injuries keep happening is you're trying to make yourself squeeze into a weight class you don't belong, and it's really doing some damage to your body. You know, you know, this is where she had like a fractured foot. And they said to push the back. The fight supposed to be pushed back to October the second, but still, if you got a fracture foot and you got to stand on that foot, it's going to be taking some time. And October, you know, maybe it's barely maybe two months away. But still, I think you know, while Aspen's still ready to go, she's still healthy. Juliana's ready to go. Just make this fight happen. Now, I'm tired of people talking about Julia, a fight between Meech Tate and Juliana Pena. Don't want to hear that trash. Don't want to hear that. You know, Misha Tate just coming back and now she's, no, 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 forget about it. Forget about it. You know, let her fight somebody else. And, you know, more likely what's going to happen is they're going to push the fight between um, Juliana and Amanda to December. As you know, you know, most of, of um, some of, um, a good many of them, um, Amanda knew this big fights, you know, can't, you know, Ben Simmons, you know, she beat. Um, Ronda, Ronda Rousey in December. She beat Cyborg in December. She, de she defeated Jermaine Duranamy in December. So that's Paul Walker going to push the, the fight to about the end of the year. So that gives enough time to recover and to retrain, give everything back to order. You know, I, that's more likely it's going to happen. You know, we're going to probably try to make a 
maybe co main event to somebody else or make it a main event. Well, your man news never been a good main event. So, you your opinion, you know, there's that's the up in the air thing. You, you know, you had to be active since your last fight with Jermaine Duranami. So I think you know, even though they had booked that fight between Aspen Ladd and Misha, and um, Macy Chase on October second, but they can cancel that. You have a port. You have two opponents that are ready. You know they got nothing to do. They posted a fight a long time ago. Why not fight? If, like I said, like this. Let's do it like this. If the winner of this fight, whoever's the winner of this fight, they can fight Mana Nunes. More likely, people are crossing fingers hoping that yeah, um, that Juliana wins. You know, that'd be fair, you know, because she, she she asked for the fight. Somebody might have to say Aspen Ladd can win. You know, that'd be fair. Somebody different. Either one of them be good because, in fact, it'd be somebody outside of GDR or Holly Holmes. But to, you know, like I said, um, like I said, I'm not, like I said, I'm not a big fan of um, Manny Nunez or, um, you know, Anzaroff, but I can understand how this virus affects the people in their life and their family. And I'm telling you, um, I just, out of my deepest hearts, I hope they're doing all right. Hope the baby doing all right. You know, take care of yourselves. You know, the fight game is always going to be here for you, both you ladies. But you need to take care of yourself and your daughter. That's the most important thing. We just hope that this is, uh, it's not severe. It might be just, I hope it's not the worst that the Delta variant. As you know, that's been going around, you know, pretty bad. But like I said, people, I mind yourself, we're still going through a pandemic. You know, wear your mask, get your vaccinations, take it easy, wash your hands. You know, you know, spray Lysol around your house. When you when you we come back in, do what you got to do to protect yourself, and protect those who you love. Because I know this virus has really affected me and mine. You know, and that's just something you can never really, you know, get over. All right, this is me on the way, George Page. Like, don't like, subscribe, don't subscribe. I'm out.